All right, everyone, it is Thursday, March 12th, and it is a rainy day here in San Diego. Uh, for some of you that don't believe it rains in California, well, here you go. Rainy day. And uh, we enjoy the rain uh, when we do get it, because we don't get it as often as other places. But uh, this year uh, it's been a pretty rainy season for, uh, especially for January and now March. February was pretty dry, but uh, March it's supposed to be raining all the way into uh, next week. So uh, pretty interesting. Went to a estate sale today, and uh, this thing, this place was packed. It was packed with a lot of vintage stuff, a lot of Hot Wheels. Um, didn't buy a lot of Hot Wheels, but there was a lot of Hot Wheels there. Uh, but there was a lot of uh, other vintage items, and I spent a total of $225. But I think I got some pretty cool stuff. So uh, I'm going to show you what I got. We'll go through it, and uh, hopefully you enjoy. Like, subscribe and uh, let me know what you think all right so 225 dollars for everything you see here um some pretty cool vintage stuff and uh we'll go through it so first off is this uh tub of train tracks in the box a a h m um, what I like about these is they're all new in the box, uh, made in Austria. That's pretty interesting. So, uh, we got this NJ Plastics, Pennsylvania, Illinois Central, MSL. Minneapolis, St. Louis, uh, New York City, Central System, all made in Austria. This is a heavy one. This is the engine, Indiana Harbor Belt. Borden's Fine Cheeses. And then we got some tracks here in, in the box. This AHM, yep. New track. And then this is a, uh, some kind of electrical for the plane, or for the train. I'm not gonna pull it out. And then there's some uh, instructions catalog here. So it appears like this is a full train set but uh, I don't know that much about trains I'll sell these individually got this guy he's made of plastic um, actually I got two of them this is uh, pyro made in the USA and I actually do have the gun and the hat for him and this is the other guy And I have the hats here, and I have the guns here. So we'll put them together and uh, see what they're worth. I've sold these uh, women before, these little uh, plastic made in Hong Kong. These bring me about 10 bucks each. One is bigger than the other. Get her cleaned up and uh, get them listed. Uh, also in this box are some colognes and perfumes. Ariani uh, Ultra Cologne Spray. Oh, this is an Avon. So it's probably not worth much. Musk. Is that Avon as well? No, this is a New York. So that one could be interesting. And then uh, Estee Lauder Beautiful. Sold that one before. Uh, this little Palmer Skin Success Ointment. It's a little tin, tan, tin can. And then uh, this car here. Uh, Malaysia, 1989. Pretty cool. 
And then I got all these little plaques here. They're, the reason I got these, they're all uh, sealed with plastic. Uh, haven't been opened. So this one is bless you for those heavenly orders. And then just some kind of a, like mod looking children. So we'll get those tested. They're all wood. Oh, and then I got some lighters in here. So this one is USS Comstock. And that is a Zippo, so that's good. And then this one is Falstaff. This one's Japan. Um, I usually do trip pretty well with lighters. The Zippo one should do well. Then over here, I got uh, Blimp, the digital game. It's in there. I think it's kind of like a Pong type of game by Tommy. Um, let's see, where is this made? Oh, yeah, made in Japan. So we put batteries in that. It has the original box. And uh, hopefully it works. Got these two cars in um, in the original box. One's an American Muscle 1932 Ford Hot Rod, and then 1934 Pickup Pro Street Road Legends 118 scale. Got the Hot Wheels Police Chase Play Track. All new in the box. Um, this is from 1996, so it's uh, over 20 years old, over 24 years old. So pretty cool. Then I got this Legos. Uh, don't know if it's complete, but it's uh, it's supposed to be 285 set. I don't know if that is complete. Uh, let's see if I find a date on here. I don't see a date. But uh, we'll check it out. Got a uh, Gillette razor that is in there with the original box. Box is worn. Um, I got some cool magazines. Uh, Mr. America from 1969 and 1970. So we'll see. We'll see if those are worth anything. Got this 1970 70 Disneyland Vacation Land book. Disney always does well. Got this 12 cents comic. Sergeant Fury in his Howling Commandos. It's more comics here. Ironwood, I don't know. Sapphire. Looks like adult comics. Leather and Lace. Shooty Beagle. And then these... Uh, Six to sixty comics. So, yeah. Picked up two of these Confederate child caps. I know that uh, that's controversial, but uh, these are definitely old, made in the USA. Uh, there is probably a market out there somewhere for those. These uh, Captain America Avengers, these are the only Hot Wheels I've picked up. Only because uh, they are Marvel related with Avengers, Captain America. Red Skull, that one's pretty cool right there. Bucky and the Avengers. I just thought those were pretty cool uh, Hot Wheels. Picked up this little bag of... Uh, plastic cowboys and Indians and the reason I picked this up not necessarily for the cowboy and Indians but I just kind of like this guy here it's 
some kind of monster. Uh, so we'll look at these and see, uh, see if there's any worth there. Uh, I thought these two brushes were pretty cool. These are brushes from Avon. And you got Superman and you got Batman. I just thought those were pretty cool. Two baseball gloves. Got a Fox Fire uh, from Wilson. Let's see what that says. American. Can't make that out. Oh, it's made in Korea. There's a Korea stamp there. And then this one is a Spalding. It's got uh, autograph model Dick McAuliffe. I don't know who that is. Never heard of him. Spalding. Uh, I don't see where it was made yet. I'll have to do a little research. But yeah, those two gloves there. Uh, this other set, car set, is a Dub City 5 Deep. It's kind of like lowrider cars in the original box. Thought they were pretty cool. Jada Toys is always good. And then I picked up this uh, little battery radio. Thought this was kind of unique. I've never seen one like this before. I've seen the car radios. Let's see if the battery compartment is, is clean. Uh, yeah, I'll have to get that old battery out of there. It looks clean so far. I just thought that was pretty cool. Uh, this first aid kit. This is full, complete. Has a bunch of stuff in there. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. With all the doomsday talk going on right now, might just keep it. Or, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I uh, got this camel sign. And initially, I thought it was a uh, repop or something like that. But it's actually double-sided. Oh, there's a date on there. 1989. And the reason I got it was it has the double side on it that says cigarettes and the price. So, I'm assuming it was hung up that way with that on one side and the price on the other so i don't smoke so i don't know dollar 86 that was back in the 80s i'm assuming i don't know what packs go for now but uh yeah that's pretty cool tin sign picked up these burglar car lawns vintage uh supposed to Turn on your lights or something. Loud warning sound, 24 hour protection. Uh, I just thought they were pretty cool because they were in the original package. There's three of them. This one's probably the worst shape. The other two are in a better shape. Not sure what I get for those. Picked up these three uh, knights. They're on a wooden block. They're plastic on a wooden block. There's no markings on them that I can see, but I just thought they were pretty cool. They're dusty, so we'll get them cleaned up and see uh, see what they're uh, what they're worth. Got two packages of Towncraft three yoke front men's boxers. Uh, I'm telling you, men's vintage underwear sells. And uh, I looked those up before I picked them up because I wasn't sure. And sure enough, uh, I seen them selling and and some listed for anywhere 30, 40 bucks. So we'll see. Picked up these high signs. They're new in the package. Vintage. Uh, I guess they are suction and they go behind your car, truck boats trailers uh, actually made in the USA but Bellevue Washington so this one says available 
Uh, this one says, go for it, go for it, and go for it. Uh, this radio here, Arvin. And if you look up this model, 840T, there is none of these listed. And it's kind of like a, a green, get that cleaned up. I haven't plugged it in. Don't know if it works, but even if it doesn't work, I could sell it as is. Um, it's an Arvin. None of them are listed. There have been Arvins that have sold for anywhere in the $40, $50, some even in the $300. Of course, those are probably the pristine ones. But I don't see this one listed at all, uh, this model. And I don't see any comps for it at all. Uh, and it's sold or listed. So, it should be interesting. Um, somebody etched the alphabet up there. It is an etching. So that's kind of weird. Um, and lastly are two books. Uh, the Erotic Imagination and the History of Pornography. So, these... What's interesting is an illustrated history of pornography. See if there's a date on here. I don't want to open it up too much. I'll find a date. Uh, like I said, I like picking up the weird stuff. And that definitely is weird. And uh, so, two twenty-five for everything you see here. I'll be listing the stuff. Uh, lots of list. I think I have some unique, cool stuff, and that's what I look for. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out. We are raining here in San Diego, and. Uh, Everybody stay safe, stuff seller out, have a great day.